Ever wondered how the early life and education of a mathematical prodigy looks like? Meet Niels Henrik Abel. Born into a family where a thirst for knowledge was cultivated and cherished, Abel's journey began in the 18th century. His father, a man of culture and science, believed that knowledge was the cornerstone of a prosperous society. To impart this wisdom, he formed a study group for his children and followers, taking the helm of Abel's education. Meanwhile, Abel's mother, a woman accustomed to the luxuries of life, spent her days engaged in organizing and attending social events. However, by the year 1814, the family found themselves in the throes of a financial crisis. The cause? It was largely attributed to the father's religious strictness which led to a decline in his political and religious conquests. A year later, Abel found himself on a journey to Oslo, stepping in for his psychologically unwell brother to study at the cathedral school. With the family's finances dwindling, Abel had to depend on scholarships for his education. Matters worsened when his father succumbed to alcohol, leaving Abel to grapple with poverty, a companion that would stay with him until his last breath. As fate would have it, Abel's path crossed with that of mathematics professor Bert Michael Holmbo at the cathedral school. Holmbo, recognizing Abel's knack for solving problems deemed difficult by others, took Abel under his wing. Using university textbooks, Holmbo exposed Abel to advanced mathematical topics, allowing the young prodigy's skills to blossom. Abel's mathematical prowess caught the attention of the academic community, and he became familiar with the works of renowned mathematicians of his time, such as Euler, d'Alembert, and Newton, even before setting foot in a university. Thus, Abel's journey into the world of mathematics began marked by hardship and determination. The cathedral school in Oslo was the stage for the next chapter in Abel's life. This institution, steeped in tradition and academic rigor, became a fertile ground for Abel's intellectual growth. He plunged into his studies, his thirst for knowledge unquenchable. It was here that Abel met Professor Bert Michael Holmbo, a mathematics teacher who would play a pivotal role in his life. Holmbo was not just a teacher, but a mentor and friend who recognized Abel's prodigious talent for problem solving. The problems that stumped others were mere puzzles for Abel, waiting to be unraveled. Holmbo was quick to understand the depth of Abel's mathematical prowess. He began providing extra classes to Abel, using university textbooks that exposed the young mind to advanced mathematical topics. This was no small feat, as these books were typically reserved for higher level studies. But Abel rose to the challenge, his mind thriving amidst the complexity of these subjects. It was during these lessons that Abel's mathematical competencies truly blossomed. Holmbo's dedication and Abel's commitment created a potent mix, allowing Abel to make his own discoveries in the realm of mathematics. Even before stepping foot into a university, Abel was familiar with the works of the great mathematical minds of his time, thanks to Holmbo's guidance. When Abel was nearing his 19th birthday, he ventured into the territory of fifth-degree equations. His research led him to believe he had discovered a general formula to solve these equations through radicals. His professors, intrigued and impressed, reviewed his work but found no errors. But Abel's journey was not without its challenges. His family's financial crisis had worsened with the passing of his father. Despite these hardships, Abel remained resolute, his focus unwavering. A group of professors who believed in his potential rallied around him, gathering resources to support his education. Abel's talent was evident and his love for mathematics was nurtured under the guidance of his mentor, Professor Holmbo. His time at the cathedral school had set the stage for the remarkable journey that lay ahead. Abel's early achievements were astonishing, but his journey was not without challenges. At a tender age of 18, Abel made a significant breakthrough. He thought he'd cracked the code to solving fifth-degree equations using radicals. This discovery was a significant stride in his mathematical journey, and it was met with approval from his professors who found no errors in his work. His academic brilliance saw him secure a place at the University of Oslo in 1821. However, the shadow of his family's financial crisis loomed large. The cost of a university education was a burden too heavy for Abel to bear. But destiny had other plans. A group of professors recognizing Abel's unique talent and potential rallied around him, pooling resources to fund his education. 
Astronomer Christopher Hanstein and his wife went a step further, virtually adopting Abel and providing him with the means to continue his studies. The financial constraints did not deter Abel from his love for mathematics. He kept his nose to the grindstone, and in the same year, he published Memoir sur les équations algébriques. In this work, he demonstrated the impossibility of solving the general equation of the fifth degree using radicals. This groundbreaking publication put Abel on the map, and he graduated from the University of Oslo the following year. However, his financial struggles persisted, casting a shadow over his personal life. He was in love with Christine, and she accepted his marriage proposal. But societal norms required Abel to provide for his family, a task he was not financially equipped to handle. The couple had to wait for better days, hoping Abel would secure employment to support their impending family. Despite the hurdles, Abel persevered, forever driven by his passion for mathematics. While still a student, Abel made a groundbreaking contribution to the world of mathematics. This young, brilliant mind, against all odds, was about to change the course of history with his research. Abel had a particular fascination with fifth-degree equations. He believed he had uncovered a general formula to solve these equations through radicals. This was no small feat. His professors meticulously reviewed his research for possible errors, but to their astonishment, they found none. Abel's work was flawless. In the year 1821, Abel's academic prowess earned him a place at the prestigious University of Oslo. However, his financial constraints threatened to halt his academic journey, but the universe conspired in Abel's favor. A group of professors, recognizing his immense potential, rallied together to gather resources to support his education. Among the most notable of his supporters were the astronomer Christopher Hanstein and his wife, who took Abel under their wing, providing him with the means to continue his studies. While at the university, Abel continued his groundbreaking mathematical research. He was not just a student anymore. He was a scholar, a researcher, a mathematician in his own right. Abel was about to make a discovery that would shake the very foundations of mathematics. In the same year, Abel published his research titled Mémoire sur les équations algébriques. In this publication, Abel demonstrated the impossibility of solving the general equation of the fifth degree using radicals. This was a remarkable achievement. It was a revelation that challenged the existing understanding of mathematics and opened up new avenues of research. In 1822, Abel graduated from the University of Oslo, not just as a student, but as a mathematician who had made a significant contribution to his field. The boy who had once been a scholarship student at the cathedral school had now become a pioneer in the world of mathematics. Abel's research was a testament to his genius, forever changing the course of mathematics. His work, born out of his relentless dedication and passion, shone like a beacon, illuminating the path for future mathematicians around the world. Beyond his mathematical achievements, Abel had dreams and aspirations in his personal life. His heart was captured by a woman named Christine, who began working in a city near Oslo in 1824. This fortuitous circumstance allowed Abel to see her more frequently, and during this time he mustered the courage to propose. Christine, moved by his sincerity and love, accepted his marriage proposal. However, their joy was tempered by societal norms of the time that dictated that a suitor must provide for his bride and potential family. Despite his intellectual prowess and potential, Abel's financial difficulties presented a formidable barrier to their union. The couple held on to hope, waiting for the day Abel would secure employment and they could finally start their life together. Abel, always thinking of Christine's welfare, confided in his friend Kaelhau about his predicament. His request to Kaelhau was simple yet poignant to protect Christine if anything were to happen to him. This reveals a depth of love and concern that extended beyond his own life and well-being. In 1825, Abel's life took a turn. His continuous struggle with poverty, coupled with the societal pressure to provide for a family he so dearly wanted, began to weigh heavily on him. Despite these challenges, his passion for mathematics remained undimmed. He continued to delve into complex mathematical problems, his work a testament to his resilience and brilliance. However, life had other plans. Abel's journey, marked by extraordinary achievements and personal struggles, came to an untimely end. His dreams of a life with Christine, of overcoming his financial troubles, remained unrealized, yet his legacy lived on. 
his pioneering work in mathematics influencing generations of mathematicians to come. Abel's life was a blend of extraordinary achievements and personal struggles, a testament to his resilience and brilliance. His story serves as a poignant reminder that behind every great mind lies a human heart with dreams, hopes, and challenges just like the rest of us.